Hello everyone, my name is Yash Gupta and I am going to tell you about your subject computer application for class 9th. I am your teacher in Army Public School, Old Kent, Lahabad. Okay, so let's start. First of all, introduction. As you have a subject computer science in your class 9th, you have to focus on the uh, on the application part of a computer because you know that in the computer science whenever you study about computer then there are three stream of computer science first is a computer application computer maintenance and IT what is the difference between computer application computer science and IT I will let you know later but here you have to read about computer application first of all you have five uh, <coughs> five unit to study in which four units contain three part and one unit contain your practical works and lab works which is your last unit okay so here i will start from first unit which is named as basis of information technology let's start in unit one you have to cover all these things as you can study as you can read there is computer system in computer system you have to study what is characteristic of a computer what is the component of a computer cpu memory storage device input output device and other devices peripheral devices what they are memory two types of memory primary memory secondary memory you know that primary memory are further divided to the ram and rom secondary memory like pen drives hard drives and uh, memory card like that okay you will have to just get a basic idea about these things you don't have to be master you don't have to be too much knowledge you have to just uh, just a simple knowledge about it if you see in question paper in in the, in the question paper the question asked from here is just for one to two marks not too much okay and the second thing is storage devices as i told you earlier next input output devices as you know keyboard mouse monitor printer scanner web camera light pen your mic these are the input output devices which is used to insert the information to a computer and taking taking the useful information from a computer next software what is the type of software what is an operating system device driver application software mobile software okay open source software lots of lots of type of software which you have to study about next is computer networking in this slide i will not tell you about the computer networking i will provide you if i will provide you a different uh, video and a different uh, slide uh, means that we PowerPoint presentation in which you will have a better understanding about the all kind of network uh, network media even I, I even I have come in this uh, lecture I will cover Wi-Fi Bluetooth and cloud computing as a very small level next is multimedia which is covered in also let's start so what is a computer system if I talk about a computer system then there are three basic part of a computer system which is input device CPU and output unit. If I tell you what is what going to happen actually, whenever you input the data, means that you are inputting the data by any one thing, anything. If you are touching a touch panel, if you are doing something, then it is called inputting of inputting your device. Okay, inputting your data. Whenever you used to input, then after after the inputting your data, after giving the instruction or inputting the data, it goes to the CPU. What? It goes to the CPU. CPU stands for the Central Processing Unit. In the Central Processing Unit, there are three separate parts. First is CU, Control Unit, then ALU, and then MU. What is ALU? ALU stands for the Arithmetical and Logical Unit. AU stands for the Arithmetical and Logical Unit. And MU stands for the Memory Unit. And ALU for Arithmetical and Logical Unit. Okay? So what I'm going to tell you, I'm just telling you, you have to input the data and after that the central processor works something on that data and after that you will get the output. Output is as another unit. Suppose you are playing PUBG. I am think I am supposing that you all are the or you all are the students and you are used to play the games. In games, there are some certain points on your screen which where you put some effort that you test that particular part of your screen and and it reflects some action if you are playing pubg and you push the fire button then it fires how because you given the input what input you have to fire what input you have to fire that is your instruction okay and by instruction control unit recognize that you have pressed that you have to fire then after that your player which you are which is your uh, visual graphics to you will fire and you see in your, on your computer screen which is your output okay so how it works first of all input data going to the control unit 
this control unit works with alu and mu what is the use of alu alu takes the decision according the given instructions and mu stores that decision okay and if we need it then we can use our secondary storage device also how i will tell you later but for a better standing for this time as a, i am studying this subject you can you can easily understand that i we have to provide the data or instruction to a computer system where the control unit takes the action accordingly to the provided uh, data and instructions and then we get the output regarding that input streams input streams means input data and instructions okay now what is the characteristic of a computer as you know a uh, computer is is a daily used thing we generally use computer but why we have some uh, some things like uh, speed we have a good speed we have huge accuracy huge memory uh, versatility and no feeling which is make your computer better i don't think i have to tell you more about it you can simply read it and just skip this video skip this slide okay now the main component of our computer system our computer system consists of many things like your input device output device and uh, other resources which are connected to them okay so any computer are made up of two things first is essential component and second is non essential component uh, what is the meaning of essential and non essential essential means the component which is required for your computer system to run means that if i talk about you ram if you doing if your system doesn't have any kind of ram it does not contain ram then you can't start your system which is a essential component of a computer but what about printer if you don't have a printer connected to your computer you can use your computer so com printer is not an essential component so if i talk about the component of a system a uh, component of a computer system it means that the essential components okay first of all is cpu as you know cpu stands for the central processing unit it is also the brain of computer it handle all the instruction given by your computer as i told you earlier in the previous slide cpu is the uh, abstraction of the data processing unit okay so that it is just work on data processing okay okay so sometimes it's referred to the central processor only processor and the brain of a computer so i don't think so if there is any kind of problem if you have any problem you can comment on below next is memory what is memory memory is a place where you hold the data suppose you, if you have to capture a image if you wanted to capture image from your computer screen from your camera then you need some memory part to store that data memory is something where you store data nothing else okay so how much type of memory we have we have cpu register cache memory main memory secondary memory okay i am just reading this memory storage files and folder size are all measured in bytes they are measured in byte what is the meaning of byte byte means this bytes these are meaning in bytes computer works in the two uh, base two system which is called binary system okay using the digit only 0 and 1 where 0 means low and 1 means high 0 means low means low means low signal and 1 means high signal a single numeric value using either 0 and 1 is called a bit okay so in the bytes a byte uh, let me use the pen 100 okay so in bytes when i am talking about bytes in byte means you have a collection of 0 and 1 if you have 80 or 81 collection of 80 and 81 is called byte okay okay so equal to 8 bit okay so next a sequence of bits makes a byte usually 8 bit makes up a byte uh, sometimes it could be 16 32 or even 64 bits are grouped into bytes to increase the efficiency of a computer means that bit is a smallest unit of data by bit you can make a byte generally there are 8 bit in a byte okay <coughs> as you know we have kb mb gb and tb and pb according our use 
it's a graph which tell you about the relationship of the memories suppose that if you have 1 kb of memory it means that you have 10 to uh, 1024 bytes means that to the power 10 bytes okay then if you have 1 mb 1 mb means uh, 124 kilobytes it means that to the power 10 kilobytes means in a kb in a kilobyte there is 10 in 1024 okay 1024 bytes so if i convert this kilobyte into byte it means then 1024 into 1024 is this 10, 10, 1024 comes from here okay comes from here and this 1024 comes from here why because 1 kb 1 kilobyte 1 kilobyte contained to the power 10 bytes okay hence it becomes 1024 into 1024 bytes for a megabyte same for gigabyte in a gigabyte there are 1024 megabytes so 1024 into megabytes megabytes means 1024 into 1024 bits so from here you will get this and same for terabyte you will get gigabyte and from gigabyte you will get these number of bits so as you can see is a huge number of bit we can use on our terabyte which is generally called hard drive of a computer system now i will tell you about the something about storage devices so what are the storage devices storage devices is generally used to store the data okay as you know okay let me clear that okay storage devices are the devices which are used to retrieve and from the saved data and information such as hard drive memory sticks pen and a compact disc dvds tapes and drives means that storage device are devices which used to uh, store the data and retrieve the data retrieved means that you have to use the data after some time suppose that you have a movie in, in your pen drive and you wanted to watch that later so you can save that and whenever you, you whenever you start to watch it again watch it again or watch that uh, watch that uh, movie then it called retrieving your data okay so it is kept in hard drive memory uh, memory disk pen drives compact disk dvds so some kind of storage devices are there first is floppy disk floppy disk is an old fashioned device we don't use floppy disk at this time it, it was famous in 1960s which has a story of uh, storage capacity of 1.44 mb of data as you know 1.44 mb data is very less for us they is using magnetic metal for the storage the, of their device of the data next is hard drive hard drive is main, made of the metal disk metal disk metal means uh, it, it contains some metal uh, coated with a metal oxide used to store the bulk of data so a hard drive as you can see here a hard drive has a metal portion which contain your data okay it, it, it can use up to 10 or 100 of gigabytes which means that the storing capacity is very high next is compact disk compact disk there are three types of compact disk first is CD compact disk then is DVD and then blu-ray disk I will tell you all about them just stay with me compact disk compact disk is a read only memory it is also called a cd rom compact disk read only memory c for compact disk read only memory is a read only memory or read write disk it can store a large amount of data which can be distributed to a large number of users it is the inexpensive and fast but its access time is is longer than that of magnetic disk there are two types of cds cdr and cdrw cdr stands for the compact disk recordable which can store 700 mb of data but only once means if you have written some kind of data in cdr and you can't you you can't delete the data and restore the data and any other data okay but on the other hand cdrw you can use Rewritable means that you can erase data and write that uh, write some other data in that disk again same DVD stands for digital versatile disk digital versatile disk okay it is just similar to the CD-ROM 
and the capacity is here 4.7 in the case of CD there was capacity of 700 MB only but in the case of DVD you will get the better uh, better uh, storage capacity of 4.7 GB which is much more if I talk about Blu-ray disc then the storage capacity becomes 25 GB and the high uh, and the data rate is very high so that you can uh, you can transfer the huge amount of data in less time and uh, then, 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 then USB as you know USB stands for universal serial bus it is a portable memory device like your pen drives okay as you can see I have mentioned this picture of pen drives here and here and here and uh, they, it is a very commonly used device in our world of today's world okay computer uh, sorry memory card memory card or flash memory is a uh, is a memory device which is used to carry the data whenever you have you wanted to carry the data from one portion to another so, so you will use these these two things mainly usb and the memory card memory card you use generally in mobile phone and you are very familiar to with, with them now input output devices input devices are uh, input devices are which used to take the input from user as in the first graph I told you that the user provided the input then the devices used to provide the input are called input devices okay like mouse and keyboard output devices like v uh, VDUs, a uh, visual display unit LCDs liquid crystal dis displays okay liquid crystal displays printers plotters speakers these are the output devices I don't think you have any kind of problem with it if you have you should mention a comment here Oh, my PC's battery is getting low. Just a second, I will pack. Okay, guys, sorry for interruptions. So, <clears throat> what is the function of output device? Actually, the, the computer that generated the in output is in the form of machine language, but we are not able to understand that machine language, which is the form of 0 and 1. We can't understand the format of 0 and 1. So, these output devices can uh, take the output from the control unit and refurbish it to the, our general world, general language, so that we are able to understand that, okay? So, it converts the coded results into the human readable form and uh, converts result as per user what is memory as i told you earlier what is memory now what is the type of memory there are two types of memory primary memory secondary memory primary memory is the main memory uh, primary memory is also called as main memory you can see if i say main memory then it means that primary memory so it it uses the data it stores the data which can be accessed by the processor generally so suppose that I am recording this video, then this data is going to be stored in RAM first, then to the secondary memory. It's called RAM, Random Access Memory, and ROM, Read Only Memory. Okay. Okay, you should read here. I don't think there is any kind of problem with it. So let me explain you detail a bit more uh, as I thinking you should know about this. So RAM is stands for random access memory which is used to store the intermediary data. What is the meaning of intermediary data? That if you are playing a game, if you are playing something, if you are doing some work on your computer, suppose you are playing, uh, playing PUBG in your mobile and what if your mobile shut down suddenly? At that time, no progress will be safe. But whenever you start the mobile, you will see uh, no progress of your data will be saved. If you are working on a on uh, MS Word, or MS Office, if you are typing something and the power of your computer is gone, then the data will not be recovered. So it is called RAM. And what is read-only memory? Whenever you start your system, you see some kind of specific picture. Like if you have any Lenovo laptop, then whenever you press the power button, you see Lenovo on your computer screen. If you have any other computer system, then you see the company's logo in generally company logo on your computer screen, which is kept in the ROM read only memory. You can't change that. You can't change that whatever is stored in the read only memory. It used to it used to for the manufacturer to store their data. Okay. In the read memory, in the read only memory, there are some things called bias. 
what is bias bias is basic input output system this basic input output system tell your computer that everything is okay you have a ram you have a, you have all essential component of your computer system who who check the basic component of a computer system it's a, it, it's it's basic input output system okay now what is the secondary memory secondary memory kept long term basis okay as you know like hard disk optical disk you have or you all have your hard disk i think so you all have a better understanding about this secondary memory like your pen drive you use to store the memory like movies and uh, lectures which you used to used to watch later okay input output devices as i told you earlier the same thing uh, why i am writing written this again to recall you the concept of input output devices yeah i by o is a standard symbolic representation for the input and output here i stand for the input and o stand for the output if you use this language in your in your examination too then it is not wrong it is 100% correct you can write in this format okay so an input output device is a hardware device that takes uh, this has the ability to accept the inputted outputted or other process data okay so as i told you earlier the input output device is same as input output device okay so i am just moving up now what is software as you know software is a collection of instruction is a uh, collection of programs to perform a particular job it is generally stored in the secondary memory but whenever you use it then it comes to then it is uh, just copies data from secondary memory to primary memory there are some certain type of uh, software like system software system software is generally known as operating system if i talk about the system software then the first term related to very close to the system software is operating system system software is a collection of the program is used to service or help the other program during the execution suppose you have to watch a movie so you need a player like mx player you used to vlc player any other player on your mobile so who will support mx player mx player is supported by android if you don't have android operating system if you don't have any window operating system so you can't use vlc you can't use mx player or you can't use any other or any other so any other software so if you wanted to use your resources then you have you must have a computer system called software system oh sorry system software sorry system software okay system softwares are operating system utilities programs like uh, like 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 your antivirus if you don't have anti if you don't have antivirus you can't run some kind of programs which uh, which contain your viruses okay library program programming language translator programming language translator you can't use without a system software now operating system what is an operating system the an operating system is a system software that manages and serves the other programs and also provides an interface for the user to interact with a computer. Whenever you have to interact with a computer, you have to interact with the operating system. Suppose in your mobile, whenever you start your mobile or you boot your mobile, you restart your mobile, whatever, what is the first thing you see on your mobile? The first thing is your logo, your company's name, who is the builder, who is the who made this uh, this device, which is stored in in his in in that machine's rom read only memory and the second thing you see is the operating system of that mobile or that system if you boot a computer system you generally see the logo of window which means that this can this system can in the windows operating system so an application an application is any program so is this operating system and he, this is definition of application program okay so the uh, heading is missing so what is an application application program or a group of program that is designed for the end user suppose uh, you have to watch the movie you have to watch the movie then we have a mx player we have a vlc player so in that case vlc is a application software which is made up for me or made up for you for the users for the users not for the any other thing operating system is made up for use your resources you have camera you have speakers you have display so how you will utilize that you for utilization of your resources you need operating system okay you need operating system but if you wanted to use these resources in a manner via any application so by any other if you wanted to work upon with with this system then you have to use an application software 
and same mobile application as you know very well about the mobile application i don't think i have to tell you even but uh, it is in course so i will let you know a little bit whenever you have a smartphone or tablet computer then you install the apps which is generally very small provided by your app, google app store apple uh, i store from where you download the applications and from that application you used to work like your pubg is also an application okay so i don't think so this slide relative to you but you can read it if you have any kind of problem you can ask me what is kernel kernel component of operating system uh, it's like a bridge of the actual data and the application actually suppose that you have a computer system running on linux so in that particular computer computer system you have a kernel kernel is is a like a defender between your original data and the application software so it's it's, it's just separate that two things what is managed it's just simply manage your systems resources okay and the communication between the hardware and the software component device driver what is the meaning of device driver suppose you have a new mobile sorry you have new mouse new keyboard or new any other device okay new pen drive so whenever you plug into your new device to your computer then how it will recognize that it is a pen drive of sony is it is a pen drive of any other company how it's because of device driver because device driver contains some software which tells your operating system that i work in such a manner means that any device any storage device any device which you plug into your computer contains some sort of information in software format that how you should operate me who can understand this only operating system can understand this which is called device driver program okay so device driver program contains a particular type of devices attached to your computer there are devices printer display cd rom writer disk uh, other things okay so i don't think there is kind of problem now there is file system as you know every computer system every every um, every operating system has different type of file storage system in window there is ntfs and uh, depends upon different system there is different kind of partition okay now computer networking whenever i say networking then there are when, when what the what comes in your mind if i think about the networking then the first thing comes in my mind is the communication you are talking to someone is a network okay so connecting computers mobile phone peripheral or even to iot device iot stands for the internet of things whenever two systems when the two machines are able to exchange their data through the internet is called internet of things okay so whenever you can connect two computers mobiles peripheral through the internet or any other to any other the source is called computer networking switches router and wireless access point are the essential network basics if you wanted to use a computer network you have to use switches routers and wireless access points through them devices are connected to your your network can be communicated with one another which <coughs> sorry okay so they can they can change their data like internet or wireless and not wireless what is wired connection whenever you use a cable or wire to transfer your data to change the words with someone else is called wire communication example are telephone lines cable television and fiber optics internet now wireless wire is like your mobile phone where you don't use any kind of wire to exchange information with other person to exchange information with some other uh, some other um, device so you don't use any kind of wire it and it's called wireless the uh, like uh, most common wireless technology is radio wave like your what like your remote in your remote of tv okay now what is protocol and what is wifi protocol is a set of rule which which tell you how to how to data should be transferred a protocol set of rule that governs the communication between the computer on a network suppose i sent here dog and uh, i wanted to tell the compiler i want to tell the other computer how i will send the data so so they will able to understand this 
so ethernet ip ipvx c tcp spx http ftp smtp and dns are the main types of protocol what are the these protocol maybe i will discuss later if it contains in your system in your syllabus but i don't think it contains but i will let you know whenever i will in live in live with you but uh, here it is a very typical concept to discuss here but you should know ethernet is a kind of uh, kind of protocol which allow us to rules how to transfer data suppose uh, suppose you are work, you are going through road and there are some kind of rule that in green light you have to stop you have to go in red light you have to stop so these rules allow us to move easily now move easily on road so same these protocols is a rule that make easy to transfer the data now wi-fi wi-fi is a short name of wireless fidelity wi-fi is the name of a popular wireless networking technology is a radio wave to provide the wireless high speed internet networking connection a common my uh, so wi-fi is what wi-fi is nothing but a uh, but a radio wave which which allow you to transfer the data okay so what is ieee ieee is a is a standard i is a standard where where Wi-Fi is more trademarked as 80211X okay now Bluetooth like uh, wi like Wi-Fi Bluetooth is also a wireless technology which extends the solid chains using the UHF radio waves and ISM band which is these things are beyond your syllabus huh UHF radio waves and what is ISM band what is the meaning of 2.4 2.4 5 gigahertz okay so from fixed mobile devices and will have the pan pan means personal area network what is cloud computing cloud computing means means accessing your data and programs over the internet instead of your computer's hard drive suppose i have some data in my computer drive like google drive you have used the google drive so what's the meaning of google drive i have some data in my in the cloud in this server of google and you can use it from anywhere okay okay so what you do you just simply put the data to the internet meaning of what uh, suppose that my system is on internet i have some data and you can connect to this computer to transfer this data it's called cloud computing you can use my resources too now let's come to the last point which is multimedia multimedia is a representation of audio video animation additional trademark media okay like graphics text drawing images first of all what is an images images is the is a visual representation of something okay it has several use as you know uh, image is a picture that has been created or copied and stored in electronic form and image can be described in the term of vector graphic or raster graphics so vector scan graphics and raster, raster scan graphics is an image by which you can see a video this is a part of CRT monitors I will let you know after audio you both uh, you all of you know what is the audio audio is the sound system that comes with or can be added to a computer in other for users to receive sound in real time for a multimedia effect listening music is a kind of sound okay video conferencing you have sound you are listening to me is a sound is an audio okay and what is the video whatever you see on your computer screen which is a moving images is known as video the video transmits a signal to a screen and process the other in in which the screen capture should be shown so what is the meaning of that it means just simply a sequence of images that comes again and again and again one and one and one after one okay now what is the meaning of animation the representation of any non-living thing as a living thing is an animation means that Suppose that uh, you you have seen about uh, you have seen Tom and Jerry. So Tom and Jerry can't be possible in real world, but you see by which it's an animation. Now Bluetooth, as I told you earlier about the Bluetooth and the cloud computing both. So it's the end of the slide, and if you have any kind of problem, you should ask me. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you so much.